Hello, hello, my sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I have yet another installment of the series I've entitled The Most Expensive Boxes I Have Ever Opened. I think this is video number 11. I'll put a playlist down below in case you've missed any and you can go back and watch all of them. So my criteria for this particular series is boxes have to be over $125. I've done tons of boxes more than that. This particular box is $159 today. Coincidentally, though, the last Last video that I just did was opening five budget-friendly subscription boxes all under $25. So whether you're looking for budget-friendly or you're just curious about the high-end boxes, I definitely have you covered. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So this is the uh, VIP Beauty Box by Beauty Pass. This is put together by New Beauty. New Beauty also does the Test Tube Beauty Box, which I've done on my channel on and off for probably six years. I really like that box. Um, it's kind of off the channel right now, but if you want me to bring it back, let me know. It is really solid. And New Beauty takes beauty very seriously. They go through and research makeups, mostly skincare, I feel like, but hair care, body care, everything. And they tell you what is the best of the best and they break it down and they make a quarterly magazine um, that gives you all of the top tips and tricks. And um, so that's kind of what's in this box, like the best of the best, but also things that are sort of new and hitting the market. So this is supposed to be a $700 value. I paid $159. I did buy this one with my own money. But what's cool about this guy is you also get this live VIP experience. And let me tell you what, they send you a zoom link you you log on and from the moment the zoom starts you better buckle your seatbelts because it goes quickly really really quickly they have ceos and owners of companies coming on and talking about specifically their products in the box now not every product they had somebody representing so they might say oh thanks wonder beauty for coming on and telling us about this and then she would say but you're also going to get this in your box from a different brand and this in your box but now let's welcome so and so from this company so there's really not time to talk about each individual product in the box, but you get a lot of good information straight from the company's mouth, which I think is really great. So like I said, this box is supposed to be worth over $700. I did the math. One thing I found on sale and even factoring that in my box was $736 in value. Now, right now they are doing a big end of the year box. That box is $299. And you're supposed to get over $1,500 worth of product. I've kind of gone back and forth because the night of the live, you could actually get it for $249. I haven't, I haven't taken the plunge on that. If you want to see it, let me know. Maybe it would take the place of a advent calendar. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the box. So when you sign up, they will send you an, an invite to the Zoom link and you can RSVP. It's very important for my understanding that you RSVP because during the lives, they give away so many giveaways, like a ton. I was blown away as well as discount codes. And I think you have to have RSVP to the event. I didn't. I just showed up. I didn't realize um, in order to be on the list to get the giveaway. So that's a little tip and trick if you want to do this. I think this particular event doesn't happen again until February. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. It is heavy and it is full. When you open it up, it did have a card on top that just talked about um, the box a little bit. The first thing that I saw that I was so excited about because I had been kind of contemplating actually purchasing this was the mini pose um, mirror. This is a travel mirror, light up mirror from Vanity Planet. I did find this on sale for $41.65. It does come with a little charger. Online you can get it in black or pink. So I got pink and I mean obviously you can see the mirror here. It sits up so you can open it up and then there's a light. Let me see if I can get. Okay, it was working earlier. I think I didn't charge it enough, but it lights up and there's three light settings. There's white light, blue light, or yellow light, and you can dim it a little bit. So this is really cool if you know, you're know you going from work to an event and you just need to do your makeup. I don't have great lighting in my vanity, so I was really happy for this. So that was the first product I got really, really excited. Now that was not like a beauty skincare makeup type item, but I do like that we got like a beauty tool. Okay, the next thing that we got, I'm gonna try and go in the order that I wrote everything down. This is by uh, Vivi and it's called Root 66. 
this guy I did take some notes on. It's it was interesting. Um, the lady who did it has a lot of background. She grew up with her ancestors doing a lot of um, like herbal medicine. So she combined herbal medicine with Western medicine with science and came up with this. It's really for hair that is thinning. Um, it's supposed to give you a lot of shine. It's got adaptogens in it. It's supposed to um, promote your hair growth within four weeks. You start to so start seeing results if you use consistently every day. So that was kind of cool. I don't have that problem yet. It might happen later. Okay, the next thing in here, and that was a $45.90 value. Okay, the next thing was really cool. We got an entire full-size shampoo and conditioner by Good Vibes. This is supposed to be safe for colored hair. It's a moisturizing shampoo with coconut milk. And they didn't talk a lot about this, but the set of this ends up being $40. It's supposed to add moisture and shine to your hair. So nice. You can always use shampoo and conditioner, right? And I like, I do get a little like tint on my hair every once in a while. I think I'm at the tail end of it. So I like that it's not going to wash out anything that you've paid for. Okay, the next thing they sent was this. I've never heard of this. This is called AOX Illuminating serum. This is medical grade skincare. I'm pulling up my notes here. My notes are kind of spotty because like I said, everything was going so quickly. I was trying to write it down and I wanted to bring you good information. So it's, uh, it targets long-term inflammation, has 12 hours of antioxidant protection, and it's good for all skin types. It brightens the skin and you use it in the morning as your last step before sunscreen. I'll link everything down below in case you're curious about any of this stuff. I don't know, some of this I had never heard of, so it was interesting to go to their website and see what they had in store. Okay, the next thing we got is from Wonder Beauty. I like Wonder Beauty a lot. The only thing that I don't like from Wonder Beauty is their mascara. Every time I've had this mascara, you can see I've already opened it, it's been really dried out. And what's interesting is you guys have said, in the comments of those videos where I've said it's tried out, that you love it. It's like one of your favorite mascaras. And this one looks like it's pretty wet. So I have hope. Maybe the third time is a charm with this one. I didn't know the owner was a model. She went all over the world. And so she designed this really to be um, both useful and travel friendly. So I know I have one of the products that has a blush on one side and an illuminator on the other. Some of their lipsticks are dual sided. So you're able to pack less in your box, which I thought that, or in your suitcase, I thought that was really neat. This is $25. So we got that. The next thing we got, and I'm excited about this company because I'm actually going to be working with them coming up pretty soon. I just got a box from them and this is Glow Skin Beauty. Man, they take skincare really, really seriously. They do a lot of peels and exfoliators and things, which I feel like I'm at the age where I need to start like exploring that. And this is their Alpha, or excuse me, Hydra Bright Alpha Albutin Drops. These are $60, $60. Um, it said, let me look at my notes for that one. It lightens pigmentation, but it is not a skin lightener. That's something different. Um, the skin feels smooth. You get an even tin skin tone. It's supposed to improve texture and you can use it both AM and PM. It's supposed to help with dullness, skin damage, and dark spots. I think we all have that over time, right? So 60 bucks for that. Okay, the next thing we got is this Josh Rosebrook Daily Acid Toner. I have to say, I've, I've talked about this a lot on my channel, I'm not a big toner girl, but after hearing him talk about the benefits of toner, I was like, okay, I need to add this step into my routine. So I was really happy um, to have it. Yeah, he's the owner of the, bot, of the skincare company, the guy that was in charge of this. It says it has a base of aloe, so it's very calming to the skin. It's an indie luxury botanical brand. It says, why should you tone? It takes off the extra makeup. It's hydrating and it does not dry your skin. And he was talking so quickly. I think there were some more, more benefits to toning, but I don't remember what they are. Have you heard of some of these brands? I feel like I get a lot of subscription boxes and I see a lot of skincare and different brands come through this room. And some of these I'd never heard of, which I, I really like, you know, learning about new products. Okay, so that, Josh rose back was $35. Okay. I've been singing this song all day. My milkshake brings up boys to the yard. 
<laughs> because this is the brand Milkshake and this is a hair intensive treatment. I am so picky about hair masks. So, so picky. This one is $26. It's supposed to control frizz. It's supposed to give you a deep moisture as well as nourishing your hair and it's supposed to preserve hair color. So, I will put this one to the test because I'll tell you after two times if I don't like a mask I almost always use a product even if it's not my favorite except for a hair mask I will get rid of it if I don't like it so we'll put this one to the test um in an empties video coming up which I need to do one because my empties are overflowing okay this was probably after the vanity planet mirror this was probably my favorite thing because this is a brand that I've heard of where is it but I've never tried any of her products. There's somebody that I watch on YouTube that lives a really clean life from like, I mean, everything from skincare to what she puts in her body to what she puts in her home. And she always talks about Josie Marin products. And this is the Whipped Argan Body Butter. This is in a lavender mint. This is $38. It comes in 14 different scents, you guys. So if lavender mint's not gonna work for you, which let me tell you. It should work for you unless you're maybe allergic to lavender it smells insane and it's so fluffy do you see it it's amazing it's amazing i love body butters but i don't like body butters that are so thick and balmy and this one's like creamy this is probably jumping to the very top for winter of my absolute favorite body butters the scent is amazing i like that it's a clean skincare brand lovely lovely i highly recommend checking out <laughs> josie Marin body butter fabulous okay that was 38 dollars. i'm kind of going fast with this because i'm not sure how much you want to see if you want me to do another video in february i will and kind of go a little deeper um this one is called neutro neutra essentials and this is a pillow glow sleeping mask what i was excited about this is that you don't have to wash it off after you wake up in the morning. I don't like it when you have to put a mask on at night and then you have to wash it off the next day. It's just one step too far for me. I'm having trouble like getting downstairs to get to my tea and making my brain start to work to think about having to take something off. So this is really um, a cool product. $33. It says a moisture recharging gel cream. Intense. Um, Oh, intense results immediately, long lasting overnight hydration. I think I told you recently I had a, a facial and the lady told me your skin is so, so dry. So adding this to my regimen, I think will be good. Okay, the next thing, this is another person I had never heard of before and she was on the call. Her name is Kat Berkey. She has a whole line of skincare, but she sent this rose hip Hyaluron lip treatment. She said that you can put this on um, plain. You could put it on under your lipstick, over your lipstick. I did not realize that rose hip was an anti-inflammatory. Maybe you guys knew that. I did not. So this is what it looks like. And let me see what notes I took on her. It has zero petroleum. Um, the rose hip oil is an anti-inflammatory anti and is calming. Oh, I also learned this, you guys. I found this to be very very educational. It was worth $159 to try all the products, but to get a little education. Because we hear about hyaluronic acid all the time, but she said they're not all created equal, which I should have already known, but sometimes you just don't think. She said the botanical hyaluronic acid is much better because sometimes if it's like, I guess, lab created hyaluronic acid, they put some salt in it. So it's very, very temporary in terms of plumping up. And this apparently is the botanical hyaluronic acid. Um, and again, you could do it with or without lipstick. It has something called KB5, which is also anti-inflammatory. So... There you go, interesting. Okay, we have four products left. Can you imagine all the stuff in this box? That was $44. Okay, I had never heard of this brand until just recently. This is by Saints and Sinners and it's their Velvet Divine Styling Potion. Now I did hear that, I think it was Katrina from Subbox Lover, I love her. She has um, their dry shampoo and she says it's her favorite, y'all know. I love trying all the mascaras and all the dry shampoos, so I'm definitely going to have to order their dry shampoo. But this is their, like I said, their Velvet Styling Potion. I'm picky about hair products, not just hair masks. I stick with the same hair products all the time because I just know what works for my hair. This is $27.50. 
Did I tell you the one item that was $165? This serum, I don't think I told you guys. This serum right here, $165. I talked about the product, but not the price. So this was the like stunner in the box. But what I liked is you got a lot of products, but if you look, most of them were under 40 bucks. $27.99, $31.50, $26, $35. This is $27.50. I think I did take a little bit of notes on this Saints and Sinners, did I? It says for all hair types, you can be curly or smooth haired. It's a good heat protectant. It eliminates static, which is great because it's horrible when you put on a sweater in the winter and your hair goes bling. <laughs> um, and it protects from solar, you know, the sun and the environment. So $27.50, I'll definitely give that a try. Okay, the next item in here, by L'Occitane, y'all. You'd ever hardly ever see L'Occitane in products. Every once in a while, you'll see it in like a, skin store or a derm box but usually not in beauty boxes at all so this is their almond hand and nail care and it's a huge bottle i actually went on to the l'occitane website and the bottle half the size was 25 dollars. i couldn't find this size on there so i'm thinking it's between 40 and 50 dollars if you've never tried L'Occitane products, I used to work at a, a really cool store that sold their products. It was like this boutique store. Lovely, really lovely. And that is a huge hand cream. I mean, hand cream, you don't need a lot. Your hands aren't that big. So there you go. All right, the next thing we got is by Exuviance. This is a product that I use so often, several times a week, not particularly this brand, but I use exfoliating peel pads. And these are daily gentle exfoliating pads. You get 60. So it's just like a pre-moistened, kind of a cotton rad, <clears throat> round, but thinner. Looks like this. And then you pull it off. They're kind of thin. And you run it over your face after you've washed, <clears throat> excuse me, and it just gently peels off. You don't really see it, that really little extra bit of dead skin. But these are gentle enough. Sometimes you can only use them a couple of times a week. These are gentle enough where you can use them every day. Those are $31 and they have PHA and antioxidants inside. I've used the First Aid Beauty ones. Those aren't my favorite. I love the Peter Thomas Roth ones are really good. I just got some in a subscription box. Oh, by Soam Institute. Those are pretty good too. So um, I'm anxious to try those. And then the last thing I thought was kind of interesting because it's by Arbonne. Um, ended up really liking this particular cream. It is their Derm Results Glow Cream with Vitamin C. They didn't talk much about this, but it's $74 when I went to the website to look it up. Um, $74, you only get 1.7 ounces, so it's pretty small, and I don't know much, much about this. Um, I've heard good things about Arbonne. I've just never tried them before, so that was my box. Like I said, if you want to get the next box coming out to get the whole VIP experience, um, that one's not coming out until February. I'm not sure if you can pre-order it. If you can, I'll link it down below, but the big daddy that's $299 is coming out, and I think it's shipping either the last week in November or the first week in December. I'll leave the link. It's not a referral link or anything like that down below. I hope you like this video. I do all kinds of super expensive boxes from beauty to home decor and everything in between. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video, guys. Bye-bye.